Hi, I'm Mark Chaplin. I'm the co-designer of Lifeform. Um, we're going to be running through the a full playthrough of the game in a moment. And um, it's a science fiction survival horror game um, set in deep space. It plays up to four players um, and it's asymmetric with two teams. One team is the uh, incredibly hostile, um, utterly ruthless alien. The other team is made up of all the other players and they play the ill-equipped crew who are running through the starship with uh, glitchy sensors and are furiously trying to collect equipment to load onto a shuttle so that they can escape. I'm looking forward to everybody playing the game and you guys um, seeing how it unfolds. Right, okay, so we'll go around the table and quickly go through who we are. I've got uh, Cameron, the executive officer, and Motoko, the drilling technician. So I'm crew, um, which makes me alien food, basically. Uh, Lecky is playing as... I'm playing as Michael Mitch Scott, the navigation officer, and Rashida Durant, the science officer. Very exciting. Cool. Mm. So Lecky's also crew. Dave's crew as well. Who have you got there? I've got the mission attendant called Emma. She's a bit like... Bishop and the uh, Trillian Villabobs, Villabobos, the warrants officer, uh, like Ripley, I suppose. Yeah. Cool. And then here we've got the ruthless killer alien beast um, <laughs> who's uh, also playing as the aliens, Mark Chaplin. <laughs> See what you did there. Thanks right, for so, having me. So we're the crew. We're here. We're going to start in the galley um, and we've got to make our way through the ship, through this enormous labyrinthine vessel of the Valley Forge to uh, gather our gear along the way we're going to be picking up all of these tokens or trying to pick up these tokens which give us like coolant and weapons and spacesuits and all of the items that we need to stow away on board the shuttle and escape from this alien but meanwhile mark is going to be moving through the board moving his little alien well giant alien <laughs> beasts after <laughs> us and he's going to try and rip us to pieces along the way so um, we've got mini objectives as well, Mark. Can you just run us through those quickly? We've got yes. Ordinarily, three. these would be secret from me, but we've got um, three because there's three crew players. We've got three objectives that need to be completed, um, and any any of the crew players can do them. One of them is a decide immediately, which for a life form nest. So I've got to place two objective tokens, and uh, you've got to move into one of them to complete the objective. The other two, one is uncoupling the shuttlecraft umbilicus. That requires a circuit board action, so and which there there's three chambers on the board with a circuit board. Their objectives have all got an, an either or, but the second one is usually more free form in how it's done, but uh, more punitive to the crew for doing it. And this one, you've got to find the shuttle's master override launch key. So that's basically picking up the um, token from that room there. I've got to pick two chambers there. I'll pick. Yeah, okay, let's go with that there and. Down here. Okay, so for this particular objective, we're going to get at least one of our crew into either of those rooms to achieve that objective. And the objectives are randomised every game. There's a whole bunch you can choose from, um, and you have to achieve three in a full player game if there's three crew players. Yes, that's right. <laughs> yes, you can't launch the shuttle without the objectives being done. Right. Or with it being supplied to a minimum standard on the five loadout columns. Okay, we've set up the board in advance. Uh, the, all the setup rules are in the rule book, so you can go through that step by step. But to speed things along, we've got it all in place and we're ready to go. All the crew start with three cards, which are going to drive the actions that we get to choose from. The counter at the bottom, the self destruct sequence, is how long we've got to get off the ship. And that's really cleverly controlled by a mechanic in the game that we'll go to. Um, we'll, we'll cover basically when we come round to it. The player to the left of the alien starts, which is going to be Lecky. At the start of Lecky's go, he's got the choice of either playing a card from his hand, yeah. and the cards have a bunch of symbols on them. And we've got these big crib sheets here that, that tell us what those symbols mean. Uh, but basically they help you move the crew and pick up items and hide from the alien and all, all that kind of stuff. So you can either play a card on your turn or you can draw two cards from the deck if you're running low. The problem is if you draw cards from the deck, you have to move the timer forward so the self-destruct sequence moves along. Uh, so you've got to really manage that time as a resource for the players. 
The other option's on your turn as well. You can either use one of your crew special abilities. We've all got these cool individual character abilities. Uh, or you can use a token. So here we've got the uh, motion trackers. I'll just reiterate now, this is all prototype components. Although the board looks completely finished and awesome, uh, it's not actually the final version. And all of the tokens and everything, those are all going to be uh, made proper in the final production sequence. So everything you see is subject to change, but it should give you a clear overview. And the awesome map is going to stay pretty much exactly as it is. Okay, so I'm going to move out towards sister. So I'm going to play this card here, which will let me move to and download the data, but there's no data to be found anywhere. So, so that's move two, two crew, crew one space each. So right, this crew member is going to go here. And they don't have to travel together. They can go their separate ways. The second one's going to raid the pharmacy there. Okay, so Durant has moved into darkness here. So this symbol represents that the uh, lights are out in there, which means you can't run through it and bad things can happen if the alien moves into that room whilst okay. you're in there. It's a good place to ambush. Okay. Not that I was thinking of doing anything like that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't trust him, man. Okay, so I'm going to play similar cards. Move uh, two crew, one space each. So I'm going to get Cameron moving down into the living quarters. And we'll get Matoko moving upwards. She's going to follow Snake Plissken. Sorry, <laughs> Scott into the pharmacy. And that's Dave's go. Okay, I'm going to... Um place a spare mission token on maintenance. So we're going to put another item of equipment on maintenance on C-Deck. Yeah. So we'll probably be moving through there anyway to get to the shuttle, so it's just something extra we can pick up on the way. Right. Yeah, it's an objective chamber. Forward so planning there. Mm. Okay, cool. Uh, which means it's the alien's go already. Okay, well on my turn as the alien, I can do, I can either play Similar to the, the crew, I've got my own deck of cards with um, uh, completely different actions on them. I can either play one icon or row of icons, or I can um, use event token. And with this particular setup, I start with two, and they allow me to fast travel to vent uh, chambers that are dotted about the extremities of the mining ship. Or I can lurk, and lurk is basically draw up to my maximum hand size. Now, my maximum hand size is controlled by the um, cocoon tracker, and that tells you uh, how many cards you can draw up to, but also if you wish to discard beforehand. So, um, and I can increase that um, through cocooning actions, but I'm not going to do any of that at the moment. I am going to, yeah, I'm going to move. So I play, I'm, I'm, I've got a choice here of three rows, so I can either do, that's one icon I can do, that's the other, or I can do the entire row on that one and I'm going to do the row on that one. Oh, and we should also mention that I'm moving two alien um, standees here, but only one of them is the true threat. That's governed by a token I've already picked at the game setup. Um, the other one is a sensor ghost, because what we're seeing here is supposed to be the readout on everybody's motion trackers. So, and it's only revealed which is the, the real threat when there's a conflict between the true alien and um, one of the crew members. So they're never quite sure through the whole game which is the true one, because after every conflict, we recalibrate who is the alien. So it's like there's the life form moving through the ship and the bluff, basically, mm -hmm. which is, yeah. Yes, that's right. To, yeah, um, similar to the movies that you've seen where they've got a motion tracker and sometimes they're like, is it behind you or in front of you? You know, on the um, when it's, there's micro change in air density. So. I move this one and I destroy a token, so I get rid of that. So that's the alien done. Normally we obviously go speedier, but we're explaining, so um, apologies. We'll get going. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll do slow yeah. turns at first as yeah. we go through what's happening, and then we'll speed up. And Okay. Um, I've got a search action on one of my cards, so if I was to play that, will that remove the darkness from the room? No, you can't remove Just... the darkness without um, either a particular action for it or slapping an energy cell into the, cool. um, the loadout. In that Please. case, I'm going to draw then. You can use the search action to remove an adjacent uh, terror. Ah, brilliant. It's like you're shining your torches into the um, into the gloomy chambers. Oh, I see. You have to move the uh, timer. You're drawing, yeah. yeah every so, time you draw, you move the timer. T minus 30 minutes. I'm going to do the exact same thing, so if you move that time along again... And yes, cards, move it along like again, it. Mark, because I'm joining in. Good, <laughs> see, you need to see these three turns drawing. went really quick. <laughs> We're whipping along. As you can see on the timer, the self-destruct track, um, at these points, we put these tokens on to speed up play as we go. These allow me to place, basically these are like traps 
I'm spreading terror throughout the starship. Um, but also, um, for the alien to win, uh, if the timer reaches the explosion space right at the bottom, I win if they've not launched a shuttle or if I've obviously killed all the crew. Uh, but we'll get into that as we um, kill them one by one. <laughs> so I will, I'm going to look. So I draw up to my hmm. hand size. I haven't cocooned, so I draw up six. So I draw four, four cards and I'm done. So that's basically, we all rip, whip round and did some hand management that turn. So I'm going to move, I'm going to move one towards the cockpit. So there we go. Yeah. Uh, I just realised at the start of my last go, I should have hoovered up this piece of gear here. So, at the start of your turn, if you're sitting on a piece of equipment, you get to place it onto the craft as either weapons, coolant, energy cells, halon gas, or a spacesuit. And you've got to try and fill these tracks up to their minimums before you can even take think about taking off in the ship. So I'm just going to stick that down as a weapon. Um, and for this turn, I'm going to play one movement and get Matoko up into the equipment locker. Dave. Okay, I'm going to uh, move two people and not download anything because there's not going to be anything there to download. So Emma's going to go in there and Warrant Officer Vela Lobos is going to go into, what's that? The pharmacy. Okay, we're all moving. We're on the run. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to play um, a card. I'm going to, I'm choosing, that's an attack into the adjacent chamber, but I'm moving both life form images or on your scanner, blips, if you will, uh, one, one chamber each. So I'm going to move this one here and this one here. Okay. So you always move to an adjacent chamber through the corridor and that just shows you where they're linked. So it's a space to space, isn't it? Each time you Yeah, that's right. And the length of corridor has no effect. And if you're blasting um, flamethrowers up corridors, you don't have to worry about line of sight. Um, it's abstracted, you're, but you're just blasting flame down tunnels, etc. Cool. I'm going to search the cockpit and remove that threat. Have I got that right? Yes, that's right. Yep, yep, yep. Made it safer. Hopefully. Right, I'm just going to do a regular move and get the toko into the airlock. I'm going to swap the aliens. Really? Okay, so we don't change which is the true threat, we just move. So potentially we've moved the ghosts away from us or the oh, alien closer. Yeah. <laughs> That's all part of the wonderful yeah. bluffing part of the game, yes indeed. So that might scuff up my plans or make things easier for me. Mm -hmm. So my my go, I will move. I'll play this to move two aliens. So I move one into the equipment locker, which is a cocoon chamber, and this one here to the food locker, and I'm done. I am going to move one into the cockpit. Right, so I'm going to draw again. So we move the timer along. Oh, yeah. T minus 27 minutes to reach minimum safe distance. Well, you see, I did it then because I don't want to be the guy that draws and makes it go onto the, <laughs> the threat space. And I'll leave that to Dave or Lecky. <laughs> It'll. No, it's going gonna... to happen. Move, move two people. Okay. And we're going to move the warrant officer into this. Science lab and Emma, the little android lady, into the hyperspace. Oh, she's chamber. taking Ooh. on that alien. Mm. Come at me, bro. Okay, what to do? Um, I'm going to cocoon. So that moves up. So now your maximum hand size has gone up to seven cards. Yes, and I can discard two cards uh, beforehand if I wish. Uh, I can only do that if one of the um, sensor images is uh, in a cocoon chamber, which one of them is. Okay. It doesn't matter if it's the real threat or not, because otherwise that would reveal the bluff. Okay. So one, two, Lucky's go. Right, then I will take one of these. And can we pop that in the coolant? Yeah. Well, there mm -hmm. we go. Let that be pretty again. And then I will 
dwarf two, so I am going to activate that threat. Right, T minus 26 minutes, and I get to spread more terror throughout the starship, putting another one of my traps. If one of these is triggered and not removed, the crew member that drew the card has to resolve one of the uh, terror cards. Now, who to annoy with it? Um, no one. I'm putting that up there. Kristen's go. Oh, right. <laughs> I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm not going to uh, cause okay, one so of those to play. Okay, so T-minus 25 minutes. Dave's go. And it, this, what's the maximum hand size? Six. Six. Six for us, yeah. I'm moving two characters. Um, first of all, I'm going to get this bit of equipment. Yes. I'm going to pop that. That's just, so what does that do? Does that give us this? You, yeah, you draw that card, flame yeah. Throw, flame throw, spare flame throw. But you want to fill up the minimums first before you start yeah. going for the bonus stuff. There's right. a lot of coolant to fill up. Yeah, a right. whole lot of coolant. I mean, yeah, it's a good play, but you've got, yeah, you've got a lot of gear to get, haven't you? you yeah. Thinking of launching before. But then that. But then you get, get that straight gear. away. Yeah, that's yeah, it. Yeah. So, mm. Don't listen to Tristan. He, yeah. <laughs> he's kibitzing. He doesn't know what he's talking about. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. And then I'm playing the, the card to move. He's, to he's it. alpha gaming you. Is he? <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna go. He's shouting over the intercom. Don't bother about flamethrowers. Just get all the stuff we need so we can get off this rack. <laughs> I'm getting the flamethrower for me. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Can I come in in the room with you? No. Yes, you can. Very dangerous. If you do, and I'm the real alien, we have an attack. Right. If you do, and I'm not, you lose a minute because you wasted time. But we recalibrate, um, which is the true alien. Right. Well, I'm, bit uh, of a risk that, Dave. Yeah, but I'm a bit stuck there, so I think I'll have to come back in here with. Hello. Mm. But right, it's just me. Yep. Alien tapping its claws on the bulkhead, thinking what to do next. <laughs> um. I'm going to draw, so I'm lurking. So and I've increased my hand size up to seven, so that's what I do. And it's over to a key. Okay, so I am going to just hunched over in the darkness, <laughs> waiting for you. Activate my special again. So um, Mitch is smart, so he's going to draw two cards and keep one, but it doesn't bring the time. Yeah, that's down. right. Yeah, it's the advantage of that, and it can be any card from my hand now. Clever girl. Nice. <laughs> so I'm just going to get rid of that search. Right. If the cool kids are playing their special abilities, I'm going to do the same. So I'm going to use Matoko's drilling technician spacesuit ability. If you're in the oh, airlock, yeah. which you are, which she is, um, pop it on the spacesuit. Place the spacesuit and the shuttle craft load out. The minimum spacesuits you need is only the minimum is the amount of people that are on the shuttle when it launches. The amount of crew, but. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I think one's probably going to be enough at this stage. <laughs> <laughs> so even though you've started with six crew, best not to get six spacesuits because I'm hoping that some of you die in a minute. Are these yeah. ones per ter ones per game? Ones abilities? per yes. game. Yeah, that's so right. Let's do that now. Yeah. So I'm going to move two characters. No, actually, no. Let's not. Let's not do that just yet. Let's draw some cards. Okay. So, so yeah. Yeah, I'll pass on you. There you go. Wham, wham, wham. What to do? Um. Okay, I'm going to, uh, on this one, there's four different options. It's quite a good card for the alien. Um, these icons at the bottom, I don't think Tristan explained, they're combat icons. They're also present on the um, uh, crew cards. They're only of any use in the final showdown if there's a battle uh, occurs on board this shuttle. So it's good for the alien to be mindful of that, that I might be getting rid of a good card. But at the moment, I'm more concerned with the a tactical uh, ability than... Um, than thinking about a fight that may not may or may not happen. So anyway, I'm going for the Android. So I'm moving it along its malfunction track. And the first space on that doesn't activate the Android, the mining Android, but it does put a um, lowest power and the lighting in another area of the starship. So I either think, do I put it around here, which is already a viper's nest of stuff, or think ahead they're going up this way, or make it really difficult down the end. Hmm. Do you want to tell us a little bit more about the Android as well? Yes, the mining android, right. From a theme perspective, even though the alien player controls the android, the alien isn't in cahoots with the android. Um, it is just, that's why it's on a malfunction track. When it comes into play, it follows this AI pathway, you can see by dots, um, to the shuttle. It's basically, it's malfunctioned. Once it's charged up, it'll move on a demented um, nine-step, I think, uh, chamber, um, rampage that gets to the shuttle. When he gets to the shuttle, it'll destroy 
um, either four tokens of my choice or two, depending on whether the crew have damaged it on the way, because they can have a, they can scrap or even destroy it um, as it as it uh, travels. So he's going to wreck our stuff, basically. Mm. Yes, and then it up. and then it basically short circuits, and that's the end of it. But the game can go in different ways. There are I've got a card in my deck that allows the alien to move the android off its pathway and also on my um, character board which you may not be able to see there's all I can have the an, the mining android kill a player if they're in in, a, in the same chamber as it is. anyway so I've got to decide where to put this so I'm going to put it down um, I'm going to put it up here uh, yeah okay so I'm going to put it there and um, that was my go was it yes so I'm done okay in that case Rashida is definitely going to ransack the cockpit again this yeah. time. I'm going to pop it into this empty tracker there. And then Mitch is going to flamethrower this alien. Okay. Ooh. So hmm. we get to move Mitch as well, don't we? But we also get to move the alien. So it's one move. Yes, yeah, so the flamethrower can be fired at the alien from up to two chambers away. And then you get to move the alien two more chambers away. And okay. you've a choice of your... This doesn't reveal if it's the true alien or not. Or push it because right you, back. you may be firing at the alien and it's scuttled off, or you might have fired at shadows, or you know you're um, you're just scared and you blast the flamethrower down. But so you may have moved the threat, or you may have moved an image. Okay. Cool. Okay. And also the the thing, the hostility track, which I'm moving now before it gets changed. Um, basically, a character sheet for the um, for the alien. Um, Every time the alien is thwarted or hit by a flamethrower or jabbed with a shot prod or any of the other things that could, you know, the mining lasers fired at it, it moves this down and it spreads. By doing so, actually, the alien gets slightly more powerful, even though it's been um, uh, hindered. So it either spreads, I either draw cards or you get um, hostility attack tokens so it's stronger on the shuttle or it spreads terror, which you've already seen. Um, but in this case, so. Um, you just fired the flamethrower, so I've got to place a terror token somewhere on the on the ship, um, and I will place that here. So that's that's done. Okay, right then. I'm going to do a regular move and get my toko into the equipment locker. <clears throat> I'm going to do a regular move. Take the warrant officer into the. Space. Nice. Yeah. How many cards have you got there? Just one. one. Yeah. Mm. He's making a break for the shuttle already. <laughs> <laughs> I think we need to put some stuff in it first. <laughs> it's a complete, <laughs> completely empty That's shuttle. It, yeah. Yeah. I'll let you guys do that. I'll keep it warm. <laughs> <laughs> warm the seats. With my blood. <laughs> I'm just wondering if I've got time to empty the cockpit and get back to the shuttle in time where I should cut my losses at some point. No, get, stay Something there until that. all the tokens are gone. Yeah. And, you just search cards. Just leave her as the token <laughs> sacrifice. Right, I'm going to play this one. Um, so I'm going to choose the move one alien and then attack icon. Oh, okay. So I go into the mess and then attack Mitch. Scott, the navigation officer in, yeah. So, okay. so an attack symbol is move into the room and attack. Yes, attack sim the attack symbol is moving to an adjacent room. This is the only card in the Aliens deck that allows it to move one space and then attack. So that's Lucky a unique... Huh? Lucky Mitch. Yes. <laughs> um, so I've come bounding into the room. Now, have you got a way of stopping that? You can either yes. hide, shot prod, or um, run. It needs, so these cards need a, a reaction, basically. They've got to have a reaction symbol on it that you can play outside of your turn. Luckily, I do have a reaction symbol. Yes, got uh, the lightning bolts. Mitch is not proud. He's going to run away. Okay. But then the alien has a chance to potentially stop him from running by yes. playing their own reaction cards. Yeah, that's right. Now, um, you can only do one uh, exchange of cards, but if there was more than one player's worth of tokens in there, uh, a crew member, sorry, then they could each play a card too. So one could run, yep. and then you and I go, well, okay, I don't stop that. And then you're left with, what am I going to do for my players? <laughs> but if one of you had a shot prod, that would protect both. Right. But, but also one thing we haven't mentioned is the alien is so lethal, if, if nothing is done to prevent them dying, it kills everybody in the room. Yeah, there's so, no hit points or anything. There's no it's hit points. Instant kill, isn't The it? alien has no hit points. It cannot be killed until it's on board the shuttle, if it gets on board, and the crew are one death each. Uh, yeah, that's right, one hit point each, effectively. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
But there's no player elimination. There's uh, crew elimination. But we'll get to the secondary roles yeah. if, if, if we need to. So you are trying to run out yep. the room. So I play this one, which has got a lightning bolt on it, a cancel run. So okay. I've um, grabbed you by the ankle or something as you <laughs> went out the room with a tentacle. So you can't do anything about Mitch that. Is gone. So Mitch is gone. Okay, but he does have a desperation attack. Okay, which means... So when he's killed, he can force the alien life form player to discard attack. At random, if able to. Card, so yeah. I'm going to go for the green one here. Okay, right, so that's gone. And and so is Mitch. Yeah. Right, that means a couple of things happen here. So <coughs> we, re, we do what's called a reality calibration. First off, out of Prevu, we, I never... Green was the one I chose that was the true alien. So the, the bluff blade. moves over and appears now in one of the chambers adjacent. So it'll go into hydroponics. And then I choose which is the true threat. Right? Which I've done. Also, um, my hostility tracker goes up two points. There's a lot to take in this round, isn't there? So I've got to place two, two more of those. But in addition, I get to decide... Let's say the alien gets all the cool things. Um, do I do a silent kill or a noisy one? If I do a silent kill, the board state stays where it is, but I still have to place the two terror tokens. But if I do a noisy kill, all the crew that are still alive, at the remaining place, um, have to make a panic move, which is an involuntary move into another room, into, a, in an, into an adjacent chamber. Though they can't make a panic move into a chamber with the alien or into a darkened room. So, um, you know, their, their options are limited. If there's no available area for them to move, then they don't move. They just panic in their um, they just quiver there. Now I'm thinking I'm doing a noisy kill, so I drag him into the air duct screaming, <laughs> which means that everybody has to make um, a, an involuntary move. Right. And then I've still got to place two of these. Bet Reynolds. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Back up. Cameron's doing a panic. I haven't placed these two from. Oh, did, did, did that before we kill. panic? Oh, wow. Yeah. So that'll determine the direction we panic in. Mm. Yeah, that's right. I'm not, yeah, because you, you, but you're not going to move on to them, and I don't want you to not. Yeah. So, one, I'm going to put one here, and the other one, because you're going to go in one yeah. of them. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So that's done. Okay. Then yeah. So it wouldn't have affected the rooms you moved to anyway. Okay. So back to panic stations. <laughs> uh, and he will go that way. Right. So he's going. One crew member dead, and you've got 24 minutes before the starship explodes. So I'm going to move back into the cockpit, because I realised there was nothing to worry about in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> don't panic. Well, you heard screams and thought, I don't know which direction that's coming from, because it's over the intercom, isn't it? Ah, uh, that's it. But, good, but tactically, it's mean you've had to expend another card, yes. and you're a turn behind picking up your um, the goodies. All the goods. Okay, I'm going to use a Jeff Kime Cameron's executive officer skill, which is sharp-eyed, so I can just do that once per game, he gets to move and search. So you're going to pop him into the ducts and grab one of these and chuck it into the... Uh, I'm going to go for the energy cells this time. Yes, yeah, so he's, got, he's got two abilities. Yes, two oh, both. Right. My uh, lady's going to grab this. Yeah. Oh, and I forgot. At the start of my move, I would have grabbed that. We can move some darkness to an adjacent chamber now. Yes. So I think we're going to move What about this. these? Do you want to think ahead about this? You can't double them up, but you can move one into a less... I mean, that one's all right. That one's probably all right, but these two... Blocking our path, aren't they? Can't double them up. It's either going to go in there or in there. What about that one out there? Mm, yeah. So you've slotted an energy cell in, mm. and it's like lit up one area, and I wasn't got dark. Diverted the power. So it's me. Uh, no, it's me. That was just. All right, yeah. Picking it up. So I'm going to do a move. Everybody, move both people. And you've got no cards left. Got no cards left. Ooh. So risky. Meaning the alien thingy. He hasn't yes, got so. any shot prods. <laughs> Right, okay, here's what I'm going to do. Yeah, what I was going to do was the card that the desperation attack took out of my hand. <laughs> you know, the random card that yeah. took out, that was my next mo play. Yeah, not, not the coolest. Uh, okay, so what am I to do? I know. Um, I am going to play event and move the true threat, which is the blue one, into this forward companion way and attack um, Cameron. Oh, man. Oh. So you can either... It's in the vents. Yeah, right. it's in the vents. Either run, hide, or use a shot die. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm exactly. going to try... Slightly die. Um, I might just try hiding. Oh. 
Okay, so that succeeds. Okay, so that's the only time that I can be in the same space as you and not get eaten, right? Yes, so we're coexisting, though you can't collect any more equipment. Until you move on. Or until you move out. Now, the things that we do here, we've got to do a reality calibration where I change which is the true threat. So this will move to an adjacent chamber. It can't move into a chamber with another crew member, by the way. I should move to life support, which is adjacent. I then change, which is the, um, uh, so it can either be the blue or the green. It doesn't matter, um, even though they're coexisting. Uh, okay. And I also, because you hid, my um, hostility goes up. You've angered the alien. Because <laughs> you've, it can hear me hiding in the bed. <laughs> that was a delicious human. With all that <laughs> big stack human. of meat it was about to tuck into, <laughs> it, it just disappeared behind some machinery. <laughs> The alien is not impressed. So, it's on to Lucky then. Okay, so I'm going to draw two. So the tracker goes down one. Yes. And also I'm going to not forget that we get some goodies as T well. T minus 23 um, minutes before the... So, does it, do we need anything else in that last tracker? Should we just do or? the energy cells? Yeah. Let's, get that. Let's get the Lots minimums done and then we'll, powered up. we'll go after the goodies after. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing and then I avoid being the one that hits the threat thing. So. Okay, so T minus 22 minutes. Give <laughs> me two cards. So, and, such an overlap. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to Matoko use... grabs this gear as well. We'll chuck that in there. So now That's we've got all good. the. Um... You've already moved that, haven't you? You did. No, that. I didn't. I oh, you didn't. It, you yeah. didn't do it. Yeah, I'm going to do it now. Yes. Okay. Right. Is it my go? Yep. I'm going to do that before. So she uses her efficient eating. ability. Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> she's going to be eaten in a moment, I think. So I'm going to move her into the darkness. Yes. Um, away from that blip. Oh, you're going to move. Oh, right. Okay. Mm. Mm. And then this lady here going into the geology lab. Mm. What to do? What, oh, we haven't gone through our objectives, have we? Oh, oh my. We need You've got plenty of time. You've still got T minus 22 minutes to complete them. Oh, we're fine then. We need to download And some to remember, data. you've got to go into the alien's nest in one of those two locations. Mm. Right. You decide okay. a bit by, by going in where it was actually um, located. Right, what to, what to do? So we either need to get that um, objective. Or two objectives onto this card. So you hid. Never gonna catch me. Don't even bother. There is a card in there that lets you kill a hidden character. I'm oh. gonna draw. I'm lurking. <laughs> I'm lurking. So it's uh, over to you, Lucky. I draw up okay. to seven. I'm not ditching so Let's anymore. get more batteries. Literally ripping them out of the main power console in the cockpit. Have we filled it up? Coolant now, yeah. It's coolant. So the, it was a mistaken coolant, that's all. And then I will. Oh, oh! I want to stay there for one more turn. So probably draw for two. But that's going to push us down. So I'm going to do it. So guys, drawing for two. The tracker goes down one, and it gives an extra trap. Yeah. So team player, Lecky. Sorry, it was worth it. <laughs> or was it? <laughs> we'll find out. Boom. In maintenance. Okay. So that was your go. Yes. Uh, right, I'm going to have Toko do a quick move into the vents, into the air shaft. Sounds like a safe place to go. Yeah, it'd be mm. fine. Yeah. I'm going to use my Anyone's motion scanner now. Yes, <laughs> yeah, so you draw two again. Teleport anywhere. Yeah. That's not my turn, though. I can still do a... No, that is your turn, because it's a token action. Yeah, you're right. done. Right. Move and destroy a token. So... I'll destroy the token and move up to there. So you're no longer hidden. Oh, man. <laughs> Come back into the vent. <laughs> Tasty man comes out yeah. from behind maintenance shift. Thank you. I'm going to take more coolant. And now I'm going oh, to on. run to the computer core. Uh, that Wait, we we'll wait until the next yeah. turn before we collect that. Okay, I'm going to grab this, shove that in the coolant, and then... Get out of the vent, Dallas. And then... <laughs> <laughs> Is it in front or behind me? You know? <laughs> There's something moving in the nose. Um, I'm going to move two people one space, so get him out of there. She's going to take her chances, work her way take through the chance, air shaft. Take her chance, take her chance, take her chance. Take her chance. Oh, me. I'm moving one little character 
Uh, it's going to be this lady again going to dorsal axis. Oh, she's making a beeline there. Yeah, mm. she is, isn't she? She is going to escape. Oh, Maybe you all fighting there. talk, Mark. <laughs> she's not, is she? No. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to play Vent and no. attack Motoko in the air shaft. Oh, right in the air shaft. <laughs> right. What are you going to do about it, young lady? I'm going to have to try and run. Are you going to stop me? Nope. No. Nope. Right, okay. Uh, one, two, I guess. Yep. So, no, you have to my, my hostility goes up. Yes, this can appear in an adjacent chamber, so we'll appear. It's a crawl space right through. Yes. I know. <laughs> it's not looking good. <laughs> yeah. Change which is the, or, or keep, remain the same. Yep. Bushido gets more coolant. She's so cool. And then she's going to casually move into the infirmary. Cool. Okay. Toko's going to grab one of these. And then, I think, can I fire down the alien vent? What, with the f with flamethrower? Yeah. Yes. Let's do it. Let's lay down cool. some flames okay. and bust him back one towards, like two. towards the others <laughs> yeah uh oh. there is a decoy to be on. one yeah two yes yeah oh nice and yeah. then i can move one as yeah, well it's not necessarily the flame's not gone round it's just that's where you've driven it I, my hosti um hostility goes up so i get to place a token uh, but i get to move as well right yeah boik Because as long as I'm sitting on there, I'm going to be... Killed. Dead. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to draw uh, two cards, please. So you get a vent Right, so token. I get a vent token. And we also... Um, we, we should go into the stowaway token... Uh, stowaway cards. Right, as you can see, the final part of the um, self-destruct track is broken into, from below uh, T minus 10 minutes, broken into three areas. And these correspond to these cards... And this only comes into the game at the 20 minute mark. And they are windows of opportunity for the alien to stow away itself on board the uh, shuttlecraft. Now, um, so I've got secretly pick one of these cards and then lay it down attached to the shuttle. And that's not revealed until the shuttle is launched. Um, if I pick the, um, the lowest part of the, um, uh, of the track, I also get an additional um, first round attack that, with these attack icons on it. Um, but obviously that's to compensate for the fact that there's um, less chance of them getting off there. So I look at the board state and decide what I think would be the, um, the best, my, my best ticket off. Um, it should also be worth mentioning that I'll automatically be on board the ship if they launch the fully equipped shuttle with not everybody on board, you decide to heartlessly uh, leave some people behind. But if you do, the alien has already stowed itself away on board, the, you know, in the engineering compartment of that. So I've got to figure out where, when you guys are going to leave. Okay, so I'll put that there and the, we put the other cards are removed from the game. Okay. So. That, that, so that was turn, That was my turn. Yeah. 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 So. Use that Venn token to attack you in the drill bit vestry. Oh, she is toast. Okay, so Matoko dies. Uh, you reveal that he's the blue guy. Though. Yes. <laughs> Matoasted. <laughs> She's dead. Uh, there is a, um, an extra ability there. Is that what would be She can ignore panic moves. Oh, but, okay. um, yeah, so she's, she's I dead. draw, the hostility goes up, so I draw a card. We recalibrate which was the true threat. Um, so I put this in an adjacent chamber here in main ventilation junction. I then choose which is the main threat. And then also I decide whether it was a silent, silent kill. kill or a noisy one. Now, I'm going silent this time. You, do, you, 
you hear nothing. Mm. That's even worse. <laughs> never hear from you, don't hear, you never hear from her again. You're like calling over the intercom. Mitoko, <laughs> Mitoko, meet up at the shuttle. You're like, she's not answering. Is it? Yeah, so. Sponsored shops. Silent kill. <laughs> okay, so it's on, to, it's on to Lucky. We've got T minus 20 minutes and two members of the crew are dead. Oh. Cool it. Um, oh, I've been yeah. found in the infirmary. And. Oh, oh dear. Um, right. Mm. Oh, indecision. I thought you, I, I was sure you had something up your sleeve then. Because <laughs> you went into the danger, you know, the danger zone. Uh, vent I'm, chamber, and I thought he's bound to have something. I was quite well equipped for a while there. Yeah, yeah, I had the flamer, I had the hide, I had the run. But I mean, it's cost me all my vent tokens again. To but draw. I thought, um, yeah, that's what I was playing for. Totally, I was trying to make you burn your vent tokens. But obviously, <laughs> they're still they're still on the uh, they're still uh, I can still vent if I've got the cards, but there aren't that many in the deck. Okay, uh, so okay. Lecky's just drawn. T minus nineteen minutes. You've got how many cards there? Infirmary. All the cards. Me, seven. Seven. Mm -hmm. So if I do motion tracker now, you won't be able to draw a card, right? Oh. I would draw a card, but I would be able to discard one. It doesn't stop me drawing. So you'd be able to keep the more powerful card. Uh, so it's still a slight but damage. you'll get two cards and it doesn't move the timer down. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to do it. So you'll you get two, two I get one, I've got to bin one. And does that count as your action? Yes. Yeah. So it's Dave. To get rid of. I'm doing a move. Hang Ooh. on, i oh, 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 sorry. Just so that I don't uh, right, I'm gonna get rid of Dave. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like a, I'm like a kill Dave. Sorry. I just picked yeah. up a kill Dave card. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming towards you. I'm coming into the uh, the power transfer conduit, which is a very, a very dangerous place. It is. I hope you've got something more up your sleeve than I had. Have you got any cards? I've got two cards. Mm, yeah. I think it's worth pushing my luck there. Mm. If the alien is close enough. Yeah, is he calling a block? She's next door. Mm. Or is that the real alien though? Mm. Life form, I mean. It's an alien life form. <laughs> I would like to say she's sort of working as a decoy, um, but no one else is moving. Playing the so, alien at her own game. Yeah. She's, she's definitely not. Everyone's still at the back of the ship. Yeah, well, I'm just <laughs> trying to work out. I just need to get to C deck now and start hacking. We need we've this. still got all these buffs that we, need we can this pick up. Or this. Yeah. yeah. They're a big detour, aren't they? Luckily, I'm over here, so it's yeah. not much of a problem. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the alien's out of vent cards, so I could, in theory, head down here and try and slip over quickly, but I just don't know if it's worth the risk. Oh yeah, you're down to one guy as well, Okay, right? I'm going to yeah. move... No, I'm not. I'm going to play another... I'm going to put a, a, a terror token in play. Oh. That's what we needed, really, more terror. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. that helps. Yeah. Well, it... It's efficient for um, the alien because I don't have to, once, it, once it's set, as long as you go there, mm. uh, where these guys have got to come down eventually. Nope, we're just staying at that end of the ship. <laughs> <laughs> Wait for it to explode. Besides, we're not that bothered. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's my go. Okay. You're surrounded, Dave. I mean, oppressive Villa, Villa atmosphere, Lobos. Oppressive atmosphere down at dorsal access. She might be airborne. Oh, could be surrounded. <laughs> she's not. She's a I'm going to move. Warrant off. Yeah. Rashida. She moves cargo. Into the pharmacy. <laughs> uh, right. So I'm down to just Cameron now. Uh, I'm going to push the timer and grab two cards, please. Mm, 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 mm. T minus 18 minutes to each minimum safe distance. Oh. The ship will blow up. I'm going to, it's not, I'm going to do this anyway. I'm going to move two characters and download stuff. So I'm going to move the Android into the ladder way. And then Excellent. I'm going to move her. Oh, well, first I pick that up, don't I? She's a synthetic. A synthetic. Yeah, Sorry, yeah, I didn't want to offend her. <laughs> Make her feel Android bad. racist. <laughs> and I'm moving into here. Oh, it's going to trigger so I'm going to trigger a terror. Terror token. So you have to draw a terror card. Yeah. Okay, so what has uh, Villa Lobos found? H horrifically ensnared here with, with secreted resin. Secreted from what? Ew. Is a dead missing crew member. You must either advance the cocoon tracker or the self-destruct timer. Let's advance the cocoon tracker because we're going to knock it down in a minute. You sure? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He says, Dave's got a plan. Rather, uh, cocky, isn't it? <laughs> okay, um, so now what, Mark's maximum what, hand size is now eight. And then the last thing I'm going to do 
is uh, download hack. the thing and do the objective. Okay, so Dave's performed a hack in the maintenance chamber on C deck, which means we can get rid of this Fantastic. objective. Yeah. Good work. <laughs> <laughs> Does that not make you more hostile? Doing what? Seeing the hack. Seeing the hack. No. So what is he doing? Doing, doing, doing the just to put that software in place. Just a no, you get one of these as well. Yeah, yeah. As well. So do you want to choose one, Dave? So you've downloaded some data. Oh, okay. Oh, so that's to... something we can just sort of do. I'll um, have it's, a... It's, yes, because you've done the... You um, do I'll have a, data hack. a red one, please. A red one, Nicky. There goes the red one. So that's going to help us for the end game. If we if we do have to battle the alien on the shuttle at the end, mm. this is advanced knowledge and data that's going to help us prepare for its attacks. Flushing out the airlock. Flushing out the goddamn airlock. They've got a lot of ways to go yet. Yeah. Got a, yeah. Got a very long way to Need go. these. And what's Can that other thing that we've got to do? Uh, so one of us has to reach one of these objectives. And the other thing and is, the other is, is either grab that or put two yeah, mission tokens into this. Yeah, that would be the best right. one to do because it means we waste less. We'll Find the shuttle's we'll master override launch key. But we only need one more coolant to complete. We only need one more coolant, but what we want to start doing is filling up that halon gas because each oh, we, block right, that we fill up will give us a freebie against the alien. Move, I'm moving to two alien life forms. So he scrabbles down the uh, life form tunnel and this one moves into the docking hub number one. Should also point out there's only one spacesuit at the moment, so uh, if, if we're optimistic That's enough to think... That's all you're going to need! <laughs> if we think more than one <laughs> crew is going to escape. So she does move in into the science lab. Right, okay. I'll do a one move as well, please, Lucky. Uh, I'm going to go this way. I'm going to grab this equipment. And we're going to pop it where? There. Cool. That's cool. And okay, so the ship is prepped boom, 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 boom. for exactly one person right yes. now. Which is me. And I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm out of here. And I'm going to get some cards, please. Two cards for Dave. Uh, cause I've, I'm oh, that's it. from the Discard Pile. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, I know your tricks. Oh, I wasn't. <laughs> Just flame for all back. <laughs> so it's T minus 17 minutes. And it's the life form. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's trying to gather its. What's it going to do? Right, you know what it's going to do? It's going to make a play for... Villa Lobos has been very annoying. Mm. <laughs> Down at, and what did she... What was that objective? Uncoupling the shuttle's umbilicus and doing, yeah. all the, doing all those things like escaping. Basically doing all the hard work whilst we just toot so, around <laughs> the A-deck. <laughs> the alien attacks from the docking hub. Ah, she's got a shock prod in her bag. <laughs> and she's going to try and shock it. Oh, what, a tool bag. A tool bag. Yeah, yeah. that's it. You've got makeshift okay. shot prod. Yeah. Can you stop that? I can indeed, oh, and I will. Oh, Villa Lobos. So, poor Villa Lobos. So, she so, dies. She's dead. That's three crew dead. She's dead. Oh, man. My money was on her being the heroine. Yeah. yeah. Final well, the girl. story's not working out the way you thought. Uh, <laughs> my hostility goes up by two, because oh. like a lion, once I've got a taste for me to like mm. more... And uh, we recalibrate where the sensor ghost is. So we're going to an adjacent room. And then I change, which is the alien, the true threat. And I decide if it was a noisy or a silent kill. And no one knows when the Lobos has disappeared. I'm going for a silent kill. Oh, She's gone with he's the, not giving us that free move. She's gone with the, the spacesuit lady. <laughs> like, like, um... Uh, when um, he was taken in the claw room mm. of the Nostromo, wasn't it? He, so. he, they didn't hear him. He just got dragged up into the nair shaft. The cat saw something. it. Didn't tell anyone. Witness. Oh. Yeah. I'm drawing two, but I'm going to use... Oh, he's, he's miles away, isn't it? He'll get a card as well. Brett, wasn't it? Yeah, it's Brett's Brett. death, isn't it? Brett from... Uh, John oh, no, that's... Yes. That's, uh... Britain, do you mean? <laughs> so, T minus 16 minutes. T minus 16. Okay. Ooh. Let's play that down. I'm going to move... You're probably shouting at the computer, turn the, we, we, we've got to play, you know, slow the timer down. Come on then. And it goes, sorry, safety protocols have already been overridden. Cameron's going up against it. Maybe all the bridge crew had to put in their, their keys <laughs> to it. initiate it. And you go, yes, if you Cringing wish to return pilot. to the cockpit <laughs> and put in your uh, manual override keys, you can slow down the timer. What's the maximum hand size for the six? Six. Six for crew. crew. It's your go. It's my go. I'm gonna. I'm gonna stay where I am. I forgot which one I've chosen. Terrified. <laughs> and draw. <laughs> and so it's so confused. Yes. Another one on maintenance. Yeah, Pressure shuffle. So it should be so it's me. Good. 
I am going to lurk where I am and draw back up to my, because I'm on evolution, um, what am I on? I'm on evolution three, but I'm only going to discard one card and draw up to eight. At this point, we get these back, right? No, no we that's have to where use they them go. Good, you, yeah, right. the, the ship, they're a heat analyzer. The ship's got too hot to use right. them. Damn the dark. Yeah, you want to use that up. Use like it up. Uh, well, use it or lose before it. this gets to here. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you got a while yet. That's probably a bit hasty one. So I'm going. Fifteen minutes until the ship blows up. Three of you are already dead. Right. I'm going to run in that case headlong into this fret room. Oh no, I can't do that. Go the other way. Yeah, I'm going to go around the other way. Don't go around the threat. Well, I'm just trying to um, get through something very quickly. So use a very mm -hmm. far. Mm -hmm. <laughs> use a what now? <laughs> X-nay on the <laughs> aim thrower flay. Um, I'm going to aim flow a thray. Oh, brilliant. Um, <laughs> one guy. thing I retreat from is fire. So let's have it go. One. No, no. no it can't go through another life form. Send it that way. Into the bowels of the ship. It, the stream of fire oh, and the alien through. can't go through a, um, a crew member or it an alien. Go, it can go into that fret room two, and then along. Two? Yeah, we can go what? That, it can go way. it can go so that there. way and that way. So we'll end up in two. cargo pod. Yeah. yeah. Get out of my way. And then I can Wait, move. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Too. Right, my place. hostility goes up because we don't like being alien. No. Us, us alien life forms don't like uh, being flamed, then, then I, I can either draw or move two. To be move fair, two. I get you've got the you've got the uh, um, it's the pretty hardcore card. one, yeah. Um, so I'm actually going to follow it. Hello, and let's trigger that. Okay, wow. I thought that might put you off, but no. One terror. An inhuman shriek sounds, chilling the blood. Discard a card or advance the hostility tracker by two. Oh. Looks pretty gnarly. Right, well, I ain't discarding, so. Still so grow slowly more powerful mm. in ancient evil. Oh. It's been lurking in space, waiting for a mining ship's crew to eat. <laughs> <laughs> Just coasted into my domain. Here right. we are. <laughs> Off you go, Dave. Um, um, uh, oh, two cars, please. Yeah. Oh, sorry. The idea is, as it's a mining starship, the eggs were brought up in, you know, mm. amongst all the... Uh, uh, raw unprocessed ore mm. and while the ship then took off from whatever the asteroid it was mining now the alien has you know grown to could be adult maturity mm. so it's me it's all they get into adults it size. is right so i am playing the android so the malfunction Ooh. track wow 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 oh, no. so the homicidal malfunctioning android <laughs> has now appeared <laughs> let's get out of there which oh, you can destroy and damage, but you mm. need to use a flamethrower or shot prods on it. Right. Okay. But then if we do, we're not saving them for the life forms. So. Moving into the mining equipment. Also, right. if you've got security doors, they can block the progress of the Android. The Android, mm. but he um, can override the controls. It's a clever droid. Right. I'm gonna run. <laughs> you gonna run. Do you not pick that up first? Two. No. Oh yes, I do. Yeah. Let's start my go. So one, two, and I'll trigger this objective as well. Get some flamethrower. Do you reckon? Yeah. Well, we could do this and remove darkness. So, yeah. Okay. Except for the flamer. So the objective's done. So that objective's done. Um, we've got one objective left now. We can either put... Oh, we could put two on here. No. Or do you think someone's going to... Just gonna... get, try and grab oh, that one on the way. It's going to be difficult to get there. Right, let's put this one on here then. Okay. Right, go in that. Um, and then, yeah, Dave's go. I'm going to move. I'm coming into the dark room. Oh, it's dark. <laughs> I'm just going to look in some photos. Is it me? <laughs> now is the time. You hear the clank, clank, clank. <laughs> Wait a one minute. Is this is a great shot. One of those uh, horror movie sequences where you, it's like a little blur far away and it's closer and closer and then the last one's just an empty gap in the actual alien's face. <laughs> <laughs> right, so at the start so the, of your go start now. Start my go. The turn. android moves. I don't need to play a card. The android is, on, is demented. It's following its AI. It's essentially a race to the shuttle now anyway, because we're on 11 on the track. That's right, and it's, well, 14. Mm. Oh, yes. It's, it's like 11, but three different. But three more. Yeah. So... And don't confuse an X with a skull, <laughs> that's what I've learned there. Mm, what to do? So the android's on its inexorable path to destroying it. So yeah, so we do have to try and pretty much get off before he gets yeah. there. Mm -hmm. um, we've filled the thing with all the stuff, but we, 
the ship has all the materials that we need, except for spacesuits. We've still only got one. We're still probably only going to need one. <laughs> <laughs> well, do you know what? I might take one from the team. I'm okay. not sure how I'm going to be able to get from here. I'm to the moving shop. one alien, two chambers. <laughs> so it moves into storage hold one. Oh man! Oh, got your number. Okay, I'm going to. Or is it the bluff? Oh. <laughs> so, <laughs> Keep me busy. Because the alien is miles away, you also draw one, don't you? you have to use my scanner. Yes, that's what's good. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Cheers. I know. Yeah, it's cheers, play, mate. Play by the rules. Hopefully, we're terrible. I'm going to push this up, and I'll have two cards as well, please, Lucky. It better be good. Poker face. <laughs> <laughs> I am running. I was running. One, two. Can you run out of darkness? No. Oh, good point. I will have that running card back. There's not a reaction on it, so don't worry. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'll walk instead. Cash. Cash. You don't want to strip over anything in the dark. Well, no. Not I mean, this crisis. <laughs> this is, you know, that's the worst that can happen. That's literally happen, the isn't worst it? thing. Slowly <laughs> stumble. Yeah, away. but you, what you've not realised is the alien has been ripping the hell out of them. <laughs> Not just the wiring, there's like the sparking cables um, everywhere. <laughs> it's pulled, you know, it's tipped over the, the furniture. It's made a right old uh, rocket. It's like it? an angry yeah. toddler. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, there's an android coming up behind me. Oh, um, yes, it's, mm. it's me, is it? Again, it's it Kill all humans, kill all humans. <laughs> I am a synthetic, maybe we could bond over a coffee. <laughs> no. Different tribe. <laughs> also, I'm malfunctioning and mad. <laughs> yeah. But I think you've got a problem that it'll be solved by my arm drill. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Please stop while I yeah, perform emergency drilling procedure. <laughs> that came out wrong. Right. <laughs> What's the alien going to do? It's going to wait there because it's, uh, it's blocking, mm. blocking Burt Reynolds. Um, check. Play a recalibration. So I don't move them. I may or may not mm. change which is the true alien. Uh, mm. It's also a way for me to get a card out of my hand and instead of passing. I've done... I think I can tell what's happening here. Yeah, you're going to die. Ha-ha! You think! <laughs> Go that way into the cargo pod and... So, lucky. Okay, no, right no. then. <laughs> Step backwards. I'm going yeah. to do some science and hack away. Um, so I'm in a room with the yes. data core, so I can do that. I'm going so you download to, a Xeno file that'll help you learn I'm more gonna about the... I'm going to get a the... purple one, because it looks like you're hoarding a few purples at the Should moment. Should we keep them together? So. And I get to move one of these darkness tokens to one adjacent space as well. So I'm going to... that one and put it there. But I'm in the room oh, with that. Oh, no, that one. Slow me down. And put it in maintenance. Is that one of oh, the no. objective ones? No, put it in yeah. the... Put it in the vent. Yeah. Okay. Get rid of that darkness. No one likes the darkness. It's rubbish. <laughs> It's better. It's better work out. <laughs> that one good song. <laughs> He's been sitting teeing himself up for that joke. I've been waiting been, for that. Yeah, He's been yeah. all week. Right. <laughs> flames. God, he's just got all the flame problems this Yeah. Morning. He won't have Actually, them for later, though. I can push him that way, can I? Yeah. And then I get to move one as well. Zoinks. Okay, so that pushes up my hostility. <laughs> we don't like flames up me. Okay. <laughs> no one likes flames. Now I'm going to do that run. I'm gonna run to you. Into this lovely oh, terror. Into terror. 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 Oh, right, you, yes. You can run into terror, yeah? That's not the same as darkness. No, yeah, it's a stop. So he, he couldn't have moved one space and then out of it again. Okay. Go on then. Oh, What's sorry. the flavour text? Sorry about that. Klaxon sound indicating a catastrophic life support system's failure. Game Ooh. over. No. Remove a, a mission token from the coolant track. Oh. On the shuttle load. Yes. Wait, we overloaded the coolant. Oh, no, we didn't. Yeah. Oh, rim, no, rim, 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 rim. We had exactly you want right further away than you thought. <laughs> At least. <laughs> that track was good. Oh. Right then, alien. Is that you done? Oh, yeah, That's me. So. Stupid robot. The mining android continues its path. Okay. And. No, that's not my oh. turn. It's automatic. It's <laughs> out of it. Um, what to do? Do you know what darkness we should have moved? The one that I'm on. The one that's blocking me. Oh, no, that's fine. No, 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 Team play! Right, so I'm moving <laughs> both alien, that one there, this one here into supplies. Okay. I'm done. I am going to move... Oh, oh. Yeah, we're going to move one into the... Geology lab. 
Okay, I'm going to refill the coolant. You're welcome, team. <laughs> well, there was an emergency uh, <laughs> coolant failure or something. Then, emergency life support problem. I'm going to run. What are we going in there for? I'm just getting away from the aliens. Yeah. You can't go directly that I way. I can't go through the darkness. Uh, not with a run. Not the runs. No. <laughs> 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 I probably already got those. <laughs> you know what? I know there's a security door on there, and it's probably a good thing to use that. But I'm not. Put the security door here. I'm moving into the darkness. <sighs> so I'm just chewing. I'm Team just play once again. There. Eating this darkness. Or... How can you eat the darkness? That's a threat. Well, I'm, I'm... So. Of terror. All right. What's this one then? There is a malfunctioning coolant. Oh God. You're joking. It's being pumped into a nearby chamber. The life form player chooses an empty chamber except the shuttle bay and places two coolant tokens there. Crew members may not enter that chamber each life form turn. Remove a token. Oh, wow. so, That's rather nice, isn't it? Yeah. Coolant malfunction. So it can't be a shuttle bay, but anywhere else. Yeah. Right, so you... Mm. Oh. There's a coolant... So they go on there, then. Oh. Nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Watch out for that android, Lucky. To uh, <laughs> your That was you done. That was... Uh, yes, that so was me. So the android... Clang, 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 goes into the ore refinery. I don't think I'm getting off the shuttle. We've got the coolant back. Onto the shuttle. Either. Coolant's back up. Yeah. We need one more for the manual uh, master override launch key right. for the final objective. And then we've done all three objectives. We just need to think about spacesuits in case. So I can't run through the android. I'll move. <laughs> no. But I can prod it. You can run into the chamber with it, but that's a stop. I'm moving one can alien two. It? You can flame through it. Yeah, but it's got to be, you've got it in the same room. Okay. Damn. Lucky. Right. Um, do we think I could ever get onto that shuttle? Rather than trying to get to the shuttle and I, I could be more proactive by what happens mopping up these tokens. If he moves into the androids. Destroying a colony. Chamber. Well, then I, I on the following turn, he has to play a shot prod or a flamethrower to, um, to damage it. The android. I had to play it straight away. No. And it doesn't okay. play any cards to fight you. The idea is when you're in a tussle and it's slow moving. So you're moving around the same ah. room. So, it would, so if you moved into it now, it'd stop it from moving, wouldn't it? Yes, but he wouldn't be able to move either. But then next That's turn, fine, burn then. it. Yeah, let's do it. If, if he had a flamethrower, mm. just saying, potentially. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't use the flamethrower to move into it, Lucky. <laughs> no, I'm, I was going to use the shock rod. Um, I could run into it, though, couldn't I? Yes. Could you no, run through it? Do that. No. no, it's a stop. Okay, so the battle's on then between the mining android and uh, Durant. Meanwhile, back at the ranch. <laughs> right, I've got two options here. I can push for more cards and hope that he doesn't have the. I can stop you escaping or hiding or doing the thing that I've got here. Mm hmm. Or I can just... take hey, one of those should have come off. It was each oh, turn. Yes. I've already had a turn. Because it just happened that you placed it. Yeah. But it could have been placed by um, Lucky, and, yeah. then it Lucky yeah. and it went round. I think you two could have legged it to the shuttle. And I could have just mopped up some of these and filled up some of the hill on. Be right. I'm going to run. One, two. Nearly there. <laughs> Shall I go, Dave? I'm going to get two cards. Tension is mounting. <laughs> it's going very quiet. I'll move to aliens. What? Whoa. That's not connected. Sorry. <laughs> Where am I here? Yeah. So the worst biological trait of aliens is their propensity. <laughs> 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 and he was. That, sorry, you, you were in the supplies. supplies. Yeah, yeah, that's it. So I'm moving here. Oh, sorry, right. I'd. Um, Doing two things at once, sir. My brain couldn't handle it. So it's over to you. Back to me? Yes, because the Android doesn't do anything. It, it, it's <laughs> just, yeah. It's just the two of you are, are uh, yeah. So I could prod it. Uh, that'll damage it, yeah. That'll damage it. Or will <laughs> flame throwing it move it back the same way it would an alien? What, no. what destroys it? Just hitting it twice with either weapon. Right. The first one damages it. Yeah. In that case, I'm going to shoot. You are next door it. to the life form now, just so you know. Or the blip. 
Might just be or the blip. Might just Good be point. Oh, yeah, the life form moves life in. Form. If the actual <laughs> life form moves into the chamber while you're fighting the android, there's nothing you can do to defend yourself. You can't take on a mining android and an alien. Okay. But I'm pe- am I pinned here now? Yeah, you're now pinned. That I'm in. You, until it goes. Uh, until it, you either you're dead or you destroy it. We did not think this through. Maybe um, flame the life form. <laughs> no, I don't know. Will actually. the android come at me, though? The android is going to keep you... There, yeah, right. like a tar pit. Moving. It's not. It's, you're, right, you're, so it's not going to hurt. It's me. not going to move, and nor are you until right. you get rid of it. That alien is getting toasted in that case. And then you could do the card draw one instead. Um, of... That's exactly what I was thinking. Nice. So, so this is going to move down. Where is the best place? One. Hang on a sec. No. Yeah, we'll do one thing because I've got to move my own. Mm. So where is he? He's there. Yeah. So one, two. Yeah, get him out. I draw two because I'm going to do the mega go. So hostility moves up. And I get another terror token, which I will put here. And so yeah. uh, we'll put that. Where are you going to go? You don't. You've completely. You've got still got that objective. Do you? Oh, you put one token on it. Yeah, we need one more token for this. Mm, where are you going to go? Whoops. Well, that's a great place for it. Dave's going to get <laughs> nice. And then I'm going to get in the shot off with the one spacesuit. Damn it! <laughs> get me a spacesuit, Lucky. <laughs> It's too late for you. <laughs> stop, stop messing around with that android. It's clearly <laughs> worthy. Okay, lucky. So that was your that was your flamer. That was my it? flame. So, so on, on my go, we're gonna have to move this down. Boop. And give me two cards, please. I'm gonna grab another two cards. Oh, but at the start of your go. Oh yeah, I'm grabbing this and we'll put it on the thing. Right, so we've beaten this. You found so that's all the shuttles. three objectives done. Yeah. yeah. You've done the override key, you've done the umbilicus, and you found the life form's nest. Yes. So you've done everything that needed doing. So now we just need to get off this ship. Well, one of us does. The other ones need to get a space. Is it still a win if the only survivor isn't even human? Not for me. <laughs> So how do we go about grabbing a spacesuit? Is it? It's like literally just any one of these pop tokens. One of those in there. That's the spacesuit track here. So we need as many of these as there are Fantastic. people on the shuttle. I'll right. draw. I'm lurking, and I will um, bin a card. One, one card. No two. Okay. We should have been removing these on your go as well. Oh yeah. Cool invent. Yes, that's right. Yeah, oh, the beginning yeah. of my turn. Yeah. Come back, Lucky. <laughs> Come back the way you came. Um, so I'm going to shock prod the android while that's going on. Okay, so you move it down to the damage. Ah, brilliant. Yeah. I'm going to see what terror is like. Let's trigger okay. this. The light, lighting here suddenly flickers and dies. The life form player places a darkness in your chamber or an adjacent chamber. Next, he may look at the top three cards of the alien terror deck and put them back in any order. A darkness? Oh, a power outage, yeah. Uh, in what, in, in, in my chamber or in my adjacent or adjacent. One? Yeah. Well, it can't go on the shuttle bay, oh, right, right. so it might as well be in the one you're in. Mm. And then I can look at the top three. Oh, that's awful. It's going to be a really bad one, isn't it? Maybe it's Tinker. Tristan, you trigger it. <laughs> You've got a moustache. Trick yourself so it's not going to phase you. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing me, except for the darkness. <laughs> and now it's your go, Dave. Yeah, okay. Okay, well, do you know what? Let's just let's just trigger that terror and then see what's up up Mark's sleeve. I'm gonna go into the Maybe there were three not very good choices. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> They're all good choices, right, Mark? Up ahead, an automatic door vainly tries to close but is blocked by a crewmate's dead body. <gasps> oh, oh, ming in. Oh, it's the guy with the helmet. If you do not discard your motion tracker, advance the self destruct timer. <sighs> Oh That's man! Right, yeah. eight minutes before this place goes up. Dun dun dun! I'm definitely not making it out here. We need to figure out what Mark chose for the escape window and not get. That. How optimistic do you think he was back then when we rolled down that end of the shuttle? Um, I th- I thought we were going to lose quite handily back then. I think we're going to get on the shuttle now. So you think if we can get it down this end, he's stuck up here, potentially? Mm-hmm. Maybe. But I was all the way down here, wasn't I? So hard to say. I reckon he's in the middle. I think he gets right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Cool. Move one alien. I can't move this because you're, it's yep. in conflict. I'm gonna move this one two. Okay. <laughs> where where are the players? So Dave's there. Where are you, Tristan? 
hiding in the darkness. Oh, okay, cool. Can so you yeah. move on to me, please? So the f I'm going to flamethrower the android. He's broken. Mm -hmm. Yes, so he's destroyed, yeah. Yeah, good thing. Okay, gone. Just come on to me. Gone gone wrong. Wrong. He can't. Uh, I think my next move should be get a space suit. Is that your move? Yeah. So my go, uh, I'll move one. Oh, we don't get caught now. <laughs> <laughs> Um, you I'm better going, have something up your sleeve, Dave. I'm going to use There's only one space suit in there. I'm going to use my survival action. Schrodinger's Cortex. So yes. I'm going to rip my shot prods out of my arms. Nice. And uh, prepare to fight up on the shuttle. Oh, wicked. Boop. All right. Me. No android to move. You destroyed it. That was, uh, yeah. Kick ass. Down yeah. with Ash. <laughs> All it took was a flamethrower with a cattle prod attached to the end of it. You might have to be the space suit hunter. <laughs> I, I don't think there's any other way because you two have sort of selfishly made a beeline <laughs> knowing that you needed a space suit. Move two aliens. What's most annoying though is that... I went all the way down here to complete that objective. Back here I did volunteer to <laughs> stay behind so I could have done a lot more damage to the alien and we'll go. benefit to you guys by ignoring that android. But you Do you know, want to draw yeah. cards? I've got to. I literally can't do anything else. Right. So the alien's going to get you? Unless I get a really good card. Do I leave you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to move one across. So what are you, does Tristan do? T minus seven minutes. This is going to be, a, this is a total gamble. I'm going to... Just get on the ship. Get out. I'm going to switch the blips. <gasps> oh, nice. Okay. Dun, 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 yeah. Dun, dun, so dun, dun, dun. either that was a really good bluff and now we both died. <laughs> or I thought us a little bit of time to get a better One way or the other. Don't worry about me, guys. <laughs> Is it me? Yes. Right, so I will move one alien two. Yeah, I think that was a good call. Yeah. yeah. How many cards you got, Lucky? I've got loads. I'm not worried. Got none in your hand, have you? <laughs> <laughs> You'll go. I am going to get you a spacesuit in here. Okay. It's up to you to get it. Well, yeah. It will be Tristan Don't using it. Don't pretend like it's, <laughs> it's impossible for me. I might be able to get you two spaces. I'm, I'm You're drawing it. Move you down six I'm minutes. I'm two cards. Oh, oh, thank cool. you. Yeah. Tristan. I'm going to put a mission token on maintenance. Don't let me down. <laughs> Dave. Not only is it in maintenance, uh -huh. it's like the aliens as part of next to it. <laughs> It's literally my last move. You're gonna draw two. Yeah. Two cards today. Five minutes to get off. Five minutes. Let's uh -oh. get into the two bit. Tristan. Come on, let's get into the one bit. Come on. Well, I mean, let's not go mad. <laughs> right. Yeah. Alien time. Alien. I'm gonna move Alien next. Oh no, just not. Move two. Uh oh. There. Oh no! Oh, that's were you in there? Yeah. It's not connected to that. You've come yeah, it is. To us. Yeah, it is. Oh yeah, sorry. Yeah. Is it? I thought just in case I'm you blind. wanted to nip back for that or something. Mm. We did. <laughs> yeah. Send Tristan and Becky. So they. Oh no! Have you got? Have you both got loads of cards? Are you going to be able to put much of a fight in the shuttle? I'm going to help you both out by stopping this thing moving on my go. <laughs> See, Dave's got a hand of cards, so he can actually do stuff, and he's yeah, got robot hands. He's going to run out at some point. I can do a dance move. Mark can do as well. Yeah, I think you're going to have to... I've got to take myself out. out of the equation. Because all I'm going to do is drain the self-destruct trap for you. Okay. But I'm not getting on that shuttle. There's no chance I can get there in time. You don't, not you're that, only not um, we need a two <laughs> runs off. We need, we need a space suit, though. Yeah. Can you blast and him? The aliens, I can blast it. Do it. Then we, we've used the flamethrower, so... You send it this way. Blast yeah. it, and then you can move, yeah. can't you? Can but then that's less flamethrowers for the I can move as well, you're right, actually, so that goes in there. See? Yeah. It's, it's a plan that's coming together, See, like, you can yeah. still make it. You're not far, far away. away. Three moves away. Still in my, still in my uh, sorry, guys, I'm out. I'm out? Wow. 
So you're on, yeah. Don't worry you're about it. You're boarding the show. He's in his flight seat, <laughs> right. putting his click in. He's chosen his CD, what he's going to have on. It's country music and you've got no choice. I was first Go on. team. You got a security door. Literally dragging you the shuttle craft down. Good God. Okay, so Dave's placed in the security oh, door. Blast what about here? No, because that's the blip. Oh, but what if he swaps him? Um, I'll run onto the shuttle. Okay. <laughs> Come on, Lecky, we can do it. Forget Tristan, he's obviously like... Yeah, Ian's good. I'm helping you out. Mustache. <laughs> if I had to push the track down to get more cars to try and help you, then we'd be on the way to okay. self-destruct. I'm doing a reality calibration. Oh, no. Here we go. What do you think's happened here? I think, so it, you, I think it would have been better served running down the timer. Yeah, I think you behind. should have stayed there and helped me run down the timer. Do you? Yeah, you, you, sh you should have picked up as many cards as you could and I would have just got that spacesuit and sat out. Well, you get a spacesuit now anyway. Yes. But now you're on the shuttlecraft, you can't jump off it again, can you? Can't you no. Can't you run? Um, so where, where, where's the best place for that? The spacesuits? I don't know where to put it. Yeah, put it on the spacesuit. <laughs> <laughs> you could start collecting for a flamethrower. <laughs> um, and then... And then? And then, I'm just going to leg it down there. Sack it. Let's see if we can make it. Mm. You can do it. You can do it. Dave. Oh, well, he's there now. Did you say I, there is something that you do once you're out? But you need That's to discard you have a card to and get rid of cards. an energy token. Got you. An energy cell to control the doors, but you haven't got anything. And got if jack. you dropped energy, you haven't got enough spare energy. It allows you to divert the shuttle's energy to control the shuttle bay doors. Oh, and that protect you? No, but uh, it's to try and block him out from, from he, could, he could shut, um, yeah, though in that particular chamber, right. it wouldn't do anything, would it? Because I'd come around. You can come way. either way, yeah. yeah. You said you weren't going to get off. You're only. Uh, yeah, dude, no, so I was. Here, but yet I was so far. I was Who's going to play? It's, it's yeah. my goal. I'm just wondering if I sacrifice myself for the human. I, what? Because. <laughs> We need, I think we needed that. I think we needed to get it into the two. If and we're not going to do it now because I don't. I, I don't I'm going to get done. I don't if you, I think if you sacrifice him, absolutely no hope of winning. Like we need. Those I know, but after I don't think with the cards shuffle. that I've got. Do a draw. You can move it down one. I'll still yeah, get two cards. Yeah, but then I'll get eaten. Yeah, but that might be a dodge and or be, a and run, then, or... and then it'll be blocking the way for Lecky. But I've I've got a draw. He's next got a draw anyway. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Just yeah, you can just you can just die. I think I'll get on the shuttle. <laughs> We're actually going to fall out because no one let the other person kill themselves. That's me. That's the lock. Yeah, that's true. Semi cooperative. <laughs> you can still do it, Lecky. You just need to draw an escape um, and a flamethrower. Okay, I'm lurking. Go. I'm lurking. Oh, he's getting ready for the shot. I'm draw. Yeah, draw. Draw two more times. <laughs> <laughs> Three. It's absolutely madness. So it's back to me again. Yeah. Oh no, Dave's got cards, so you can actually do stuff. Oh, what can I do? Oh, you can shut the door. You but can it's shut not the door, help. but I'm in a position where um, that's not going to be of any help. Mm. Save them for the shuttle fight. At least you can survive the shuttle fight. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> got these shot rods. There you go. What do they do? One in there. Cancel. You've got two cards. Yes. Should have got the mining laser. Should have, but didn't it? We should have got the flamethrower as well. Should have got the hail on. Yeah, well, that you just pick up, I think. Okay, I'm going to play. <laughs> He's got so many <laughs> options. <laughs> yeah, no, it, yeah. No, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to. Yeah. I'm going to vent. It's a blip, Lecky. It's a blip. It's a blip. I'm going to vent, send him up here. Oh. So it's not an attack. Oh, it's, it's connected. A... Yes. You'll go. Run. Well, walk. Just draw slowly <laughs> and carefully. Saunter. On my line. So it's back to oh, me. Well, he would have eaten me. Maybe. He can't attack with a blip, though. I, I don't think that's a blip. It definitely is. I think that was a blip and he just pushed him forward into the real alien. That's what I Let's see. Yeah. If that's what he's done, he's about to die right now. Oh, but hang on. <laughs> <laughs> Are we going to have to yeah, fight got, for the spacesuits? Yeah, we've got enough spacesuts. Well, you've got well, no cards. You can't get on board. You need another spacesuit. That's. Uh... Can you physically not enter the ship then without that spacesuit? That's right. Right. So you have to go through. No, take two back. Go through the blip. Lucky. I can't believe you ran onto the shuttle when you did. Like, 
I couldn't, oh, no. have, I couldn't have done anything. Yeah, I'm cards. moving to just draw yeah, on. Leave me. Look, you could have drawn cards. Leave me for dead. Do, draw up and then oh, jump on. It's, it's run... working exactly how we wanted yeah, it to. Yeah. But I've had to run across the board now to get nowhere and draw. just waste time draw, and draw cards. cards. Like, My deepest cards. apologies, draw, Rocky. You've got to draw cards. It's just, frustra it's just frustrating because you could have won, but you chose not to. <laughs> and it's your fault. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so it's me. Uh, it's that was you. Yeah, yeah. I can't hear you from inside this comfy spacesuit. <laughs> <laughs> Why does the shuttle need a spacesuit? I don't know. I'm sorry, sorry. When we open the airlock, mm. flush it out. And flush out the extra crew. Oh, of course. <laughs> uh, I'm going to play the android. Which oh? moves the timer down. It's oh. something the android must have damaged when it was on a rampage. Uh, ram, ram, oh, ram, if ram, it got ram. off then, that would have been it, wouldn't it? He's pushed it into his zone, mm. so now we're definitely going to have the showdown. But draw again, Lecky. If it self-destructs, are we all right for on the shot of it self-destructs? No, because you're launched. You launch. you yeah. launch. you I think you guys just need to launch. The How shuttle. do we launch? If we launch, it's a free action, but you're leaving behind and I'll be on board anyway. Yeah, we're going we're to have to launch. Yeah, we're going to launch. You're not risking it. No. No. So, I'm definitely on board then. Yeah. Dupe. Oh. That didn't apply because you left yeah. you left her behind. Yeah. So we're on board then. You've got no hail on gas. I've got no cards. You've got no yes, but you're gonna draw zero cards because you didn't get any more <laughs> uh, uh, improvised. So this is how many cards we would have drawn yeah. at the start of the battle. Yeah, but you were struggling to get the um so I draw the largest number uncovered. Uh, you know, not been covered, sorry, so I've got to discard down. Uh yeah, this is not going to be... You've got three cards, haven't you? So I've got to bin some. Hang on. It's going to be a murder. A bloodbath. Yeah. Mm. So, right, I've bin those two. Okay, so you've got the you've got the um, shuttle that you can use. These can count, counter any attack. Mm -hmm. what, uh, one icon, sorry. So this is the finale now. So Mark's going to take it in terms to attack each of us. Yeah. And we've got to defend ourselves against... The, of the people that are on board. So yeah. that's only... Um, yeah. Us two. I get to chill. Right, so first off, then, <laughs> to watch the star explode. Explode. You've, explode, yeah. you've got zip, haven't you? To defend I've got yourself Jack. With. I've so got I've got the thrusters on this ship. So, so okay, come at me, bro. You have got though, I remember the airlock. <laughs> you've got the airlock. That's all you've got. So I've got eight cards. So you've you play the green. You, you've got to decide whether to suck that card out of the airlock or take it on. Take it on. I'm going to take one for the team. Let the android survive. So it's a one point green attack. So that's all you needed to kill me, wasn't it? Yes. So I'm out, and then let's hope that, Le uh, that Dave's there's, there's <laughs> remaining. There's no chance. Okay. But, but maybe I'll pull it Well, oh, hang on. Around. One, two, three, four. What, what colour are they? They're an assault. Mostly assault green. Moment, mostly right. green. So how many cards you got? You got seven. Seven. <laughs> yeah. Okay, no so. Yeah, I know. It's. Uh... Um, so now Dave can play a card to try and counter that, basically. You, you gain a number of these hostility tokens depending on how far, how hostile the alien has got to this point. And these are laid um, on top of, if I put it there, I can choose to spend these, they're one-offs, to buff up the, um, the attack. But the attack can never be um, more than the value five. And seeing as all my attacks are either five or one, if I put one of these on a five value card, it's wasted. But it's not wasted if you think it's, I'm beefing up. You know, let's say that's a one value card and I go, um, I put those three on it. That could be a four value attack, which you either suck out the airlock, or it could be a five, which you don't. And then I, I then got a decent, I mean, either way really with that amount of tokens. Mm. But in this case, I'm not going to use any of them. I'm just doing, I'm saving them for a minute in a minute. And these can be used to cancel purple or red? Yes, or you can spend two for one to cancel an off colour icon. Right. Well, I'm going to blow that out the airlock. You, you're going uh, you, you sure? Yeah. Okay, so that's so your that's one off done. The one yeah. shot. You won't see what it was. Whoosh. Okay, and here comes another attack. Uh, purple. purple. You've got nothing. You've got to take it. So the bl and I'm going to put that on it. So it's a red one and a purple one. Well, I was going to, I was going to cancel it, but what the what? Yeah, you don't you don't decide what to do until you've seen what what it is. Oh right, so I don't see what it actually is. Yeah. So the combination. Oh, so I've got to take it anyway. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So it's a red one and a purple one. So I would have to spend both of these to get rid of that. Yeah. Or one of these. That would get rid of either one. Yeah, right, you've, right. It's, yeah, or those two would get rid of it. Right, right. That right. might be the better. Yeah. Maybe do that. Okay, do yeah. that. Well, hang on, because those can get rid of any colour, can't they? Whereas they can. Those can only get rid of red or purple. Mm, yeah, true, yeah. but... 
Yeah, maybe red's a good one to get rid of. Okay, yeah, whichever way. So chuck those. Uh, yeah, go on. I'll get my box out and I'll see if they've seen <laughs> what it is. Well, you've already looked at your tablet yeah, while yeah, you're yeah, running yeah. around. And, yeah. Oh, it's uh, li- uh, uh, his weaknesses in his left foot, you know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we've analysed his physiology. Like the opposite of that movie. Yeah. yeah. So there's no bluff game. anymore because you've already airlocked it. That's got to be uh, It's a green these. one. Yeah. Yep, so you're getting rid of that. Yeah. Okay. Remember, because I... I may not have a killer hand, you see. Mm. Um, next one, purple. It's a one. Yep. So you've done that. You've yep. you keep you keep firing harpoons at me, and you've fended me off. Yep. You've got two cards left. I've got two cards left. So it was closer than you thought it was going to be. Mm. Okay. So um, here comes, and you've got no. If you had the mining laser or hail on gas, you'd be mm. able to discard these, and you'd be in yeah. a much stronger state. But well, I can't block that. Okay. So it's a five point green. So that's a, I've got two reds. Not enough. So, oh. Oh. as the uh, starship explodes behind you, and you're having a, a dr- dramatic confrontation on the shuttle, but mm. unfortunately, it's now the only passenger on board. Oh. <laughs> it's like the end of Aliens, but it went a very different way. <laughs> with, with the synthetic yeah, but, being ripped to pieces, and the, but we after don't know. The humans we don't gone. know whether the alien can then sit in the seat and then control yeah. the shuttle, or whether it's just <laughs> maybe. Like, I'm stuck in a small shuttle. Here. Maybe we're awful. the aliens. Maybe just, it's got it's still got country music blaring out, so at least we know it's suffering. It probably couldn't figure out to switch it off. Maybe it cocoons itself until the salvage team yeah. pick it up, That's and then it all starts That's, again. Yeah, that, more rather like, than the comedy ending. More likely, like, Tristan probably put the autopilot and set it to Earth immediately. When it's <laughs> <gone in>. <laughs> <laughs> See, the only other card I had was a one was a one value, so it was closer than. It was close, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I didn't. Really so good. I used all of the high-powered cards to do what I did. I mean, mm. compared to the other game that you know was uh, played earlier, mm. um, yeah. I only killed three crew. Where um, mm. you were more effective, weren't you? As um, I think a beginner's the yeah. beginner as well, wasn't it? Yeah. Sweet. So, thanks very much for joining us. That was our playthrough of Life Form. Thanks to uh, Lecky, Dave, and Mark for joining us today and talking us through the game. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it wasn't too fast. We, I mean, we, we started going quite quickly at the end there, but hopefully it gives you a sense <laughs> of how it plays. Um, and there was, we, we tried to do some explaining at the start, but it very quickly descended into, I'm just going to take my turn. There was, <laughs> there was lots of uh, pushing and pulling. And it got a bit emotional at the end there. Um, and all the humans got ripped to pieces, including our cyborg friend. Mm. Um, and a win for the alien. But it was close. It was a close call at the end there. Yeah, I so. guess wrong when you would be launching. Didn't I? So, uh, yeah. But yeah. managed to stow aboard anyway because we uh, abandoned Lucky on the ship. Mm. So that was Life Form. Thanks very much for joining us. And uh, we're going to have loads more information about the game in on the Kickstarter page. So thanks again. <laughs>